Good morning everyone, we have compiled even more silly doofy ban reasons and we will jump right into them. Right after I tell you to subscribe since we're close to 250k, remind you to use code HELLCASTLE when buying stuff from the Hypixel store and hypnotize you to buy the Blanca hat from the essentials shop. Anyways, let's start off with someone called CEO of games. CEO is a person that really enjoys playing Skyblock and used to play it every single day on his computer. Until he wasn't able to, when he received the devastating news that he has to go on a holiday with his dad, sister and grandparents. CEO first didn't mind this much and just went on the holiday, but slowly, the Skyblock addiction started getting to him. There were so many things he might have been missing out on. Maybe his minions are now full. He can't let them take a break from their unpaid labor. What about his bizarre sell and buy orders? Did he make profit? And what if Marina was now mayor? Oh no, he can't miss out on all the fishing XP. CEO simply couldn't handle it much anymore, so he started looking up tutorials on how to log into any Minecraft Java server through Minecraft Pocket Edition. And after some researching, he went onto his phone, filled in the server address and port, added a new server which was the Hypixel.net server, and logged into it through his Java Edition account. It all worked perfectly. CEO was able to roam around the holy Skyblock Islands freely and do all the things he wanted to do. But after 5 minutes, he got yeeted for cheating through unfair advantages. Well, that was disappointing, he probably said. It turns out that playing a Java server on your phone through Bedrock Edition isn't the best idea, since the packets that get sent to the server from Minecraft Bedrock Edition are entirely different from the Java PC version. For example, Bedrock Edition has more reach than Java, and Hypixel instantly recognizes those very weird packets and the anti-cheat just beams it. If CEO did a tiny bit more research or even saw the countless warnings on the forums, comments, and even in the video itself that you can get easily banned for doing this, he probably would have avoided it, but oh well. Before we continue, I want to tell you that this video is sponsored by Dragon City. I was pretty happy when they reached out to us for a sponsorship because it's my childhood game and it's pretty fun. I started playing it on Facebook games in 2012, but it came a long way and it is now a free mobile game that's available on all devices. It has more dragons than you can ever think of, which you'll need gold to buy them houses and stuff, and food to feed them so that they can evolve. Then, you can train them and teach them cool attacks and use them to fight other people to win pretty cool rewards. I remember maxing out my pure dark dragon and using him exclusively for PvP, just because he looks so cool. You can also of course breed dragons of different elements and types to get a mixed result, like Sea Dragon and Electric Dragon equals a Storm Dragon. There is a lot of possible combinations. There is also stuff like alliances you can form with friends, a battle pass with minigames and prizes, YouTuber dragons, and a lot more. Make sure you use this QR code on screen now to get 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and a Flame Knight Dragon for completely free, because why not? And make sure you use the link in the description to download it. Alright, so back to weird ban reasons, this one is quite bizarre. A long time ago, GeForce released a mobile application that allows you to stream your PC games onto your phone, essentially letting you play PC games on your phone. It was quite bad, but jokes on you decided to give it a shot. So, he paid $5 for it and tried to boot up Minecraft, which worked perfectly fine. And he was able to log onto Hypixel on his phone that he's using through a GeForce Experience app. Yeah, a bit weird, but he got it to work. He mainly used this to AFK in his farm whilst his PC is off. But he noticed that the game kicks him out for inactivity, so he had a brilliant idea. He decided to place a spoon on his phone, specifically on the jump button, so he doesn't get AFK kicked whilst on his island. This worked perfectly fine for him for about two days, until he decided to voice call with his friend to show him the magma cube farm. He locked off his phone and voice called with his friend from his PC and went to show him the magma cube farm, and he was using the grappling hook an item that was commonly used in Hypixel Skyblock to travel between places 
and was basically the ADHD item back then. He launched himself towards his farm, up on this wall, and he got a 30 days ban. Now, two things could have happened here. Someone saw him AFK jumping for two days straight on his island and reported him, or he got banned because of a grappling hood bod, because looking back at this, this was in 2019. Skyblock was still a tiny baby back then, and so many bugs existed with Watchdog. Maybe Watchdog saw that he hit the wall too hard or something, and seeing that he got banned right after he hit the wall as well, I think it was a grappling hood bug. So, whether this guy got banned for putting a spoon on his phone for two days, or for using a grappling hook, I thought it's funny to mention. Now, for what I think is the weirdest ban reason sequence I've encountered so far, we have Flame of War. Flame of War is a Hypixel Skyblock YouTuber that enjoys streaming Skyblock on his free time. He mostly does Dungeons and Enderman Slayer. One day, he had just came back from school and decided to help someone with their Enderman Slayer whilst screen sharing. Everything was going completely fine. Until right after he switched his helmets and pressed right click, he got a 30 days ban. Flame was rightfully absolutely devastated about this since he hasn't done anything bad. He was not using any illegal mods or clients and his logs were completely clean of anything too. He appealed with a very long and detailed appeal and just hoped he would be unbanned. Six hours later, his appeal got a reply saying that it will be forwarded to the relevant staff. 14 hours later, he receives a message that he was unbanned. Great! Now that he's unbanned, he can go back to streaming and playing the game normally. But that did not seem to be what Watchdog wanted. 7 hours after his unban, Flame decided to start doing Enderman Slayer again, but he had a sneaking suspicion something might happen, so he turned Shadowplay on, which if you didn't know, it's basically a feature in Nvidia's GPUs that records your screen 24-7 and only saves the last few minutes when you decide you want to clip them. And he wasn't wrong, something did happen. Less than 20 minutes later, he got banned again for the same exact reason. He really was not happy at all. He made another appeal about this, stating his frustration and giving Hypixel a mountain of proof, clips, and even an explanation of what he thinks is causing the issue. He basically got banned both times moments after he swapped his helmets quickly. If you didn't know, you can swap your helmets very quickly by putting a helmet in your hotbar, then hovering over your helmet slot and clicking the hotbar's hotkey, and it instantly switches them. That quick switch in helmets and stats numbers might have caused Watchdog to think he's maybe using a client to instantly boost or swap stats, or maybe his right click mage setup was just too good. So, he went ahead and explained all of that in his new ban appeal. But, to no avail. His second ticket was denied after about 10 hours. This made absolutely no sense to him. Why would it get denied if he got banned for the exact same reason one day ago and his previous one got approved? But luckily, the automated message that said his appeal was denied and that he will remain banned was edited to be an approve and he was unbanned. Yeah, this was quite a weird one. <laughs> and all of that happened whilst Flame was in the middle of graduating days, and the emotional roller coaster he had to be strapped to really didn't make the stress any better. But hey, at least he successfully graduated. Maybe let's get him to a thousand subs as a way to say congrats to him. But we have to at least give it to support this time for going back to a denied appeal and rechecking it and approving it. Good job, team. Now, for the main topic of this video, the guy who was banned for picking up a diamond. What if I told you he was banned multiple times for picking up that specific diamond, and not just him, but other people as well? Let me explain. On Hypixel Bedwars, there are speedrun categories for a lot of things, and a guy called Torch likes to be on the top leaderboards for as many of those categories as he could. He had already achieved impressive stuff, like the world record for fastest 3s and 4s games, 
and a bunch of world records in other obscure categories. One of those obscure ones are the obtaining diamond any percentage category. At the time, the current world record holder for that category did some very impressive god bridging on a specific map where the gen spawns close, and he was able to achieve an impressive time of 12 seconds and remained unbeaten for a long time. But Torch was not about to learn an insanely hard mechanic just to get an obscure world record. Instead, he came up with a very effective and smart strategy, where he makes his friend jump into the void whilst placing blocks on the way down, which saves Torch from the god bridging time loss, and then he continues walking and bridges this small gap to reach the diamond gen. Pretty easy. After a bunch of tries, they were able to achieve this. Surely that's it. What? Wait, you got kicked? You got banned. What? Wait. What? Yep, they went really fast. So fast that the game actually thought they were cheating and decided to ban them. First, they were not entirely sure about how this exactly happened. So they decided to watch replays of it. Boink! <laughs> And they also decided to try this again on an alt to make sure that this is actually a watchdog bam, bam, issue. Bam, bam. Nope. And after them trying out the same strategy again and picking up a diamond in under 12 seconds and instantly getting banned, they immediately concluded that this is a watchdog issue. Basically, in order to combat fly hackers, Watchdog has a system that instantly bans people who pick up a diamond in abnormal speeds. Admins never imagined a human being playing completely legit could pick up a diamond this quickly, but they were proved wrong. So, Torch and his friends instantly messaged admins about this on the forums, which then quickly went ahead and unbanned both of their accounts and patched this watchdog issue and completely removed diamond pickups times from being flagged on watchdog. But yeah, when Torch first told me about this, I found it hilarious, because they got themselves banned for being too fast, literally a skill issue. The problem of being faster than light is that you can only live in darkness, Shakespeare or something, I don't know. Anyways, big thanks to RR. She helped me compile a decent amount of the info in this video. And if you have any dumb ban reasons yourself, please join the Discord, make a ticket, and tell us about them there. Make sure you have screenshots and logs at least, otherwise we will just close it. Make sure to download Dragon City from the link in the description and use the QR code. Okay, see ya, have a nice day.